It's Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. I'm Leslie. I'm Marlena. And the Wolfie begins now. White no baby! Underclassmen makeup pictures will be in the library next Friday, December 10th. This will be your last chance to get your school taken to be in the yearbook, so make plans to be there. Prom committee will be selling candy cane grams for $1 each during all three lunches from December 9th to December 16th. When you buy a candy cane gram, you can write a message to the person that you're sending the candy cane gram to. You will need to know that person's impact when purchasing a candy cane gram. All candy cane grams will be delivered during Impact on Friday, December 17, 2021. A lot is said about money. It makes the world go round and it is the root of all evil. But we decided to chat with a few people about their thoughts on money. Let's check it out. Okay. My name is Jeremiah and I'm in 10th grade. Uh, with unlimited money, I'd probably buy a car first, an expensive one at that, a house, not one too big. I don't plan on having a mansion and probably just unlimited food at that point. My name is Eddie Gannon. I'm a senior here at White Knoll. Try to solve world hunger, I guess. That's a pretty big issue. Um, I'd buy like some houses and cars for like friends and family of mine and then, you know, get homeless people homes. I mean, what else can you do with unlimited money besides be like super selfish? But if it, yeah, I mean, you can be stingy, but get rid of all the issues in the world first if it's unlimited. I'm Mrs. Cox, I'm in 20th grade. So one thing, and this is gonna sound hokey and cheesy, but one thing I would do if I had unlimited money is to create an after school program to run here at White Knoll High School. Um, just to offer things that cannot necessarily be offered within the school context that's really broad and intentionally so, but I have unlimited money. So basically like y'all, I would ask y'all, what kind of things would you want to do or learn or be and make it happen? Uh, but also I'd buy a house at the beach and a really nice car and I'd travel the world and uh, put a batting cage in my own house because I've always wanted that. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'd want selfish stuff too. I'm a human being. So yeah, that's probably what I'd do with unlimited money. Yeah. Well, one pro about money is that, well actually, if you think about it, there's no pros about money besides the fact that you pay for something, you get it, you get what you want. A con, most people like money and are greedy and would probably do anything just to get their hands on some money. I mean, it could be a good thing, I guess, if we got rid of money in this world because we all just slave away in this life for our money, but it also creates this kind of habit and order in the world. I feel like if there was no money or like system of currency, there would just be chaos everywhere. People would be like breaking into places trying to steal everything. Steal, but you can't steal it because it's free. There's no money. So kind of be chaotic. Well, pro. Um, it's obviously a lot more simple than something like a bartering system because, um, you know, I can go and buy whatever the heck I want wherever and whenever I want as long as I have the money for it. Um, whereas if I have to actually like do a skill or do something for it, that complicates it. So it does make that a little bit easier. But a con is people that hoard wealth while there are other people that can't pay their rent, they can't buy food. That's a huge con of money, and especially how people with that kind of money, like the hoarding wealth kind, continue to make more money uh, while there's still people starving. That is definitely a huge con. That's the Wolfie for today. Have a great day, and, and go T-Wolves!